Good evening and welcome to Monday's Sports on One. Polis The Rock Ambunda survived a second round knockdown to claim the IBO Super Bantamweight world title at Ramatex in the early hours of yesterday morning. Despite being sent to the canvas just before the end of the second round, the Namibian regrouped to beat Argentina's Leandro Esperanza at a split points decision after 12 rounds. The main fight of the event, which had featured several other bouts, saw the Argentinian start off by consistently using his reach advantage in the first round. While Ambunda's defense was equal to the start, a momentary lapse of concentration just before the end of the second round saw Esperanza landing a left hook that sent the Namibian to the canvas. Thankfully for the local boxer, the bell had gone while the referee was still busy giving him the mandatory tenor second count. Ambunda's corner then worked frantically to get him ready for the third round, with the Namibian rallying him as he landed some fierce punches off his own thereafter. The pair kept trading blows throughout the next round, with Ambunda slightly dictating the pace of the bout. Meanwhile, in the outer bout, Polis, the hitman Moses' international lightweight fight was at times lackluster as his Tanzanian opponent, Sadika Momba, consistently held on to the Namibian. In the end, Moses won by unanimous decision, with all three judges scoring the fight in his favor. He now improves his record to 36 wins and three losses in 39 bouts. Mumba picked up his seventh loss in his career for a record which includes 20 wins, two draws in 29 fights. American Troy Merritt, who missed the cut in his prayer five starts, shot a four under par 67 on Sunday to win the Quicken Lawns National and capture his first PGA title. The unheralded 29-year-old held of US star Ricky Fowler and sweet David Lingameth over the back nine, closing with a 35-foot birdie putt to become the 10th first-time winner on the U.S. PGA Tour this season, but the first in the history of the national world number 180 Merritt, who fired a tournament record of 61 on Sunday, finished 72 holes at Robert Trent Jones Golf Club on 18 under 266 for a three-stroke victory over Fowler with Lingmouth third on 270. Merritt, whose best prior finish was second at Memphis last year, tweaked his parting stance on Tuesday after weeks of frustration and it paid instant benefits, qualifying him for first major in two weeks at the PGA Championships. Peter Cech broke a few Arsenal hearts down the years during his glittering Chelsea career but helped the Gunners enjoy a rare victory over Jose Mourinho's side on Sunday. The 33-year-old shut out his former teammates at Wembley as Arsenal drew first blood in the English season with a 1-0 victory in the Community Shield at Wembley. Signing a keeper of such pedigree, especially from a main rival, was a coup for Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger and the Frenchman was quick to lord Czech's influence on his first competitive appearance for the Gunners. Czech's clean sheet completed a satisfying day for Wenger, but he said the real business begins next week with a kickoff of the Premier League season against West Ham United. That's your sports wrap-up on this Monday evening. Stay tuned for the weather update.